In this video, we're going to be creating ceramic ornaments with sublimation, and we're going to do it from start to finish. We're going to be using these sublimation blanks that are sublimation ready. So what that means is that these ceramic ornaments have a special coating on them that takes the sublimation ink. So these I've purchased ready to go. And also I am using a printer that's been converted to sublimation by adding sublimation ink. This is not regular ink that's being used for this video. And also you can see that these ceramic ornaments are almost three inches. These are some of the things that you're going to need for this sublimation process. You can see heat tape, so heat resistant tape. I've got heat gloves up there. You're going to need something to touch these hot, hot items. I have a cooling pad. I have sublimation paper and I have a scissors there. You will also need a heat source. I will be using the HTV Rant Auto Press in this video, and the type of paper that I'm using is A Sub 125 sublimation paper. Now I'm going to go through some of the things about downloading images. The images that I've used besides the photos are from Creative Fabric. I have a Creative Fabrica all access account. They have really great deals. So I have put the link below so that you can find that. Also, I'm going to be designing in Word. And so if you are not going to be watching that part, you can skip ahead between 15 and 18 minutes here. So now I've come into my Word app here. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to go to layout and the layout options here we are going to pick eight and a half by 14. We're going to try and fill this page up and then we're going to do landscape and our margins are going to be set to zero. Now this is going to give us plenty of room to make these ornaments. So I'm going to go in now. I'm going to go to insert and then picture from this device and they are in my, yeah, that came up right away. They're on my desktop in a folder that I labeled Memorial. And so the two that I'm gonna do today is, um, my father-in-law passed away in 2019, so I'm gonna make a memorial ornament of him. And then I am also gonna do a wedding memorial. A friend's daughter got married, so I want to do that as well. I'm gonna pick this image and I will pick this one too. And I'm gonna insert those. And as you can see, they come in quite large and um, they have actually filled the page up here. So what we wanna do is I'm gonna click on this image of my father-in-law first, and then I'm gonna go to this little icon right here. It's also right here, but when it pops up here, I just click on that layout option and I want to text wrapping, through because that's going to allow me to move this anywhere on the page that I want. So I'm just going to make that smaller and then you see the other one popped right up in there. Now I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to do the exact same thing to this image. I'm going to wrap and through. Now I'll show you why this is important. Get that out of here. Now I can um, click on this image again, and I am able to move this anywhere on the page. I can even put it on top of him. I can send it backwards, but it's real important for you to learn that wrap and through feature so that you know um, how you can layer images and move them around on your page. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to insert a shape. And so I am going to grab this one here, basic shape, and I am going to make this, I'm going to get the shape here. See, it says right here, one inch by one inch. Well, my ornaments are a little under three inches. So what I want to do is I want to make this circle three inches, three by three. Let's see if I can get that up there. Let's see what it is right now off of it and then come back shape format it is two 
0.28. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up that, oopsie, up that to three this way and up that to three this way. Then I know I've got an exact three inch circle because the ornaments are slightly smaller than three inches. So if I can fit my images in this circle, then we're good to go for um, our printing. So I'm gonna go wrap and through on this as well, just so that I can move these to this image and then I can shrink them down and I can make sure that they're gonna fit. So I'm gonna go to picture here, picture format, and I'm gonna bring it forward here just so that you can see what I'm doing. I, sometimes I'm not using a mouse, I'm using my finger here, and sometimes it just doesn't wanna slide the way I want it to. So now I am pulling this just slightly, and then I'll move it. So now I know that this image will fit nicely on that three by three circle, a little bit bigger. Like I said, that the, the circle's just a little smaller. Uh, I'll show you that later, but now I'm gonna move this over to the side because we know that one's ready. Now, so I don't lose my work, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna save this as, let's see, I'll save it on my desktop because I have a folder with memorial ornaments in it. And I'm gonna save this as, Memorial ornaments, correct. So I know I'm gonna be printing this later. So now I've saved that. Now I'm gonna to go to my father-in-law's picture and I'm gonna shrink that down as well. I'm gonna bring it up to this circle, make my paper a little smaller so you can see what's going on here. Let's put him up here and I'm gonna send the circle backwards just because I want to make sure that I get it just right in there. And see, that's a little small. What I want this to overlap the whole ornament. So I'm going to pull that bigger. I want his whole image to be on the ornament. No white background behind it. So that is why I've done it this way. So let's see now. I'll move it over here. And now I'll put the circle on top. It forward. This circle isn't going to be printed. It's I'm just using it as a tool to get my measurements correct. There. Now you can see that that will print all the way to the edge of the ornament. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to move this here. Yes. And then I'll put his image here just for now. Now we're going to bring in some more images. So insert and pictures again from my folder. And it popped up perfectly to what I want. Um, here is a wedding photo of a friend's daughter. So I'm gonna bring that in. And again, I'm gonna do the wrap and the through to get that back up on the page. I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit. So I wanna be able to have this perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring that shape forward so that we can see just where that's gonna be on there. That's about right. So that's what I'm gonna do. That picture is about right. Now, I'm not gonna shrink that picture down because that will distort them. If I don't drag it exactly from these corners, if I pull here or pull here, it's gonna dis distort the look of their faces and their bodies. And I don't wanna do that. So now that I know that this is gonna fit perfectly, I'm just going to leave that there. And now I'm going to insert a couple more things for this ornament. Let's see here. Down. I brought in a couple cute things here. Mr. and Mrs. And I think I have a 2022 in here. Established 2022. So I'm going to bring both of those in there and see how they they're so big that you can't see them but when I hit the wrap and the through that's going to allow me to move this so I'm going to move this up here for now where's my other one no I must have missed it uh insert picture 2022 let me find that again establish 2022 put that in and again we're going to do the wrap and the through feature on that so that I can make that 
smaller. Hope this is making sense for you. So now I bring that over and I'm actually gonna shrink this right down here. Oops, upside down, shrink it down. Come on, get a little smaller, come on. And then this one I'm gonna shrink down. And then I'm gonna layer them here on this ornament. Ah, uh, let's see here, bring this up. That's a little bit big yet, I think. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna line this up, eyeball it there. Because when I print this, I want this to be one piece so that I don't have to try and put the two pieces together on the ornament. And I'll explain that later, but let's see if I can get this centered a little bit here. Let's see. Well, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna leave those two together. Now I'm gonna move that circle out of the way. And I'm gonna save this because we always wanna save our work. You don't wanna go through this and then all of a sudden your computer shuts down and everything that you've been working on is deleted. So now just to fill up the page, I might go to layout here, make it smaller. I think I'll do an eight and a half by 11 because then I don't have to bring as many things in to fill it up. So move that little guy there. And I'm going to insert some more pictures. And I thought it would be fun since Easter is right around the corner. May not be for you when you're watching this video, but it is for us right now. And so I've downloaded some backgrounds, um, some Easter backgrounds that I thought were really cute. And then I, I also downloaded some cute little bunnies that I just thought were adorable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring... Let's see, this one in first. So here is the background. And again, I'm gonna wrap and through, and then I'm gonna shrink this down. So we don't need anything that big with this ornament. And I can cover up part of this wedding picture because it doesn't matter because um, their face, it's just gonna be their faces on the ornament. Now I'm gonna bring this down here, make sure it fits, bring it forward so you can see that, um, that is going to be real good there on that ornament. So now I'm going to insert another image. And I'm going to bring in that cute little bunny. Oh, let's see this one first. And then we're going to do the wrapping through again. And that'll bring her up on the page where we can see her real good. And I'm going to shrink her down. And I'm going to move this blue here over for a second. And I'm going to put her right in this, right in here, real cute. Pull her up a little bit bigger. So what we're doing now is we're layering. As you can see, I'm layering that cute little bunny on that background. Now, these were not together in the downloads that I got from Creative Fabrica. These were actually two different files. So I found the bunnies and I found the, the um, egg background, but I thought they were absolutely adorable. So I'll stretch this out a little bit. And then I'm going to put this on here again to see how it looks. Bring this on. Make sure she fits. Oh, she's a little too big. So I'm going to shrink her down. Oops, shrunk the wrong thing there. Now I got to go back and make sure that this is three. I'm just going to highlight this. Three. Oops. Three and three. There we go. All right, so now I know, um, bring her forward. She's a little too big, so I gotta shrink her down because I want her to fit nice on that ornament. So now I'm gonna move this, but I want her to also be situated nicely around these eggs where it's gonna be a cute design that's gonna overlap. Man, that's about right there. I like that, maybe a little bit further down. So now what you can see is I'm showing you how to layer backgrounds and images so that you can create your own. You don't have to always use someone else's design. You can absolutely create your own designs. So now I've got that in there and I'm gonna save again. And now I'm gonna move this back up here and I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna insert a picture from this and I'm gonna bring in this bunny. And of course, we have to wrap him through again here, if I can find him. 
when he's here. Sometimes you got to go up to this feature because you can't see it. So wrap and through, and that'll bring him up. There we go. Couldn't see the icon, it was below my page. And so now doing it that way, we're able to pull him down. And I'm just going to leave him sit there for a minute. And I'm going to bring in another image. I'm going to bring in another background, that cute Easter background. Because we're going to make a, I'm going to try and make three ornaments today for you. Um, Let's do this one. So it came in again, and you can't see that icon down here. So what I'm going to do is wrap and through. And that brings it up. Now I'm also going to, since I'm on here and picture format, I am going to rotate him completely the other side because I just want it to look a little different than when it came in. So now I'm going to move this over here and I do not want that touching that photo. Whoops, what did I just do? Here we go. All right, so I'm going to move it here, but I'm going to make it smaller. I do not want to touch my father-in-law's photo because I need that extended room for that ornament. Um, so now we're going to move our little bunny guy into this image. If I can get off of that one. There we go. Slide him over and go back up to picture format and bring forward. And see that little bunny pop right in there? I'm going to make him smaller. So the girl bunny will be on one side of my ornament and the boy bunny will be on the other. So let's see what we got here. Pull this down. Let's see. Um, bring it forward. Is so I can see, I think I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. I don't, uh, I want to make, whoops. And again, I grabbed the wrong thing again. So now we'll just go back up here, change that to three, change that to three. And I don't want to be on that. So now I'm going to make that little guy smaller. I just want to make sure that he's going to be completely in the ornament but not covering anything up. It'll be so cute. So I think that'll be a nice backside of that ornament. And yeah. All right. So now you can see that I've got designed for three ornaments here. I've got always with you on one side of my memorial, my father-in-law on the other. Mr. and Mrs. established 2022 on one side of the ornament and their photo is going to be on the other. And then I'm going to have this girl bunny on one side of the ornament and this boy bunny on the other side. And that's a, that's enough. I typically will fill my page up with other images too, but for now, we're just going to leave it at this. So now what I want to do is I want to get rid of that circle. I'm going to delete that because I do not want that to print. So now I'm going to go up and I'm going to save. So now I'm going to go to print. We're gonna print and I'm gonna be pr not printing from my Dell. I'm gonna be printing from my Epson EcoTank 2760. And so I'm gonna go into my printer properties now and you can see what the um, standard settings are on this printer. Now everybody's printer is gonna look a little bit different but on this EcoTank, this is what my printer properties look like. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change this paper type here to premium presentation paper mat. And then I'm going to change the quality to high. And then we're going to go up here to more options. And I'm going to change image options to emphasize more and emphasize thin lines. And I'm going to hit OK there. Now, here's an important part, this additional settings. You don't want to print in high speed. You want your ink to saturate that paper, and you want it to dry as it's coming out. Otherwise, you're going to get these pizza wheel lines and other things. Don't print in high speed, and you always want to have high quality. So now, I, also, you always want to mirror your images. If I don't mirror my images, Mr. and Mrs., 
and always with you will be backwards. Always mirror your images. So now I'm going to hit OK, but I'm going to go right back in here because I want to show you one more thing. Again, high quality print. You do not want that on standard. That's going to help slow that printer down and get it um, printing very slow so that that ink can dry as it comes out. It takes a long time for these images to print. All right, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to print this. Now, while we're waiting for our print to print completely, we're going to get set up. So now I'm going to preheat my press and I'm going to set it to 385 degrees and we're going to be doing each side of these ceramic ornaments for 130 seconds. Now note the HTV Rant press only sets to 99 seconds so we're going to be taping good because we're actually going to press them for an additional 31 seconds. Now you can see I've got my three ceramic blanks and I use a coffee filter to clean them off. You want to make sure that you're getting all debris, hair, lint, everything off because if there's anything left on them, you will see it when you press. And on the right there, you can see the finished print. Um, you notice that everything's backwards. It is mirrored just the way we want it. I've cut down my images so that I can tape my ceramic ornament to them. As you can see, I've centered them over these images and I'm going to leave that excess on there. And I'm going to tape around that with the heat tape, the heat resistant tape. Now, note that you do not want any tape to go on the image that you're pressing. So be very careful not to have that tape wrap around the edges. Always add protective paper on your press. Uh, this is non-wax parchment that I am using. I also added a pressing pillow to create a tight fit. I um, staggered the images on here that you can see, two down, one up, and then I cover it with a Teflon sheet to help create an even heat temperature on this ceramic. Now these have finished. I ran them through my HTV Rond Auto Press for 130 seconds. I had to close the cover for the second time for 31 seconds because it only went to 99. And as you can see on the left, they're very, very hot in that picture. I took the paper off and I set them down and then I moved them carefully with my heat gloves over to the mat to cool. After the fronts cooled down, I added the paper to the back side and I ran them through for the same process, the 385 degrees for 130 seconds. Please remember to use a clean sheet of protective paper. After I unwrap these, I moved them to the cooling mat. They turned out really well. I'm really pleased with them. Here's the front and back finished. I took a picture of them on the front and then a picture of them on the back so that you can see the finished product. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.